Lord of the Rings and Modern Hero Rant. You people out there who are complaining about black people being dwarfs or elves in Middle Earth in Lord of the Rings or black people being heroes, you're nothing but a bunch of bigots. Nothing but bigots. Some of you hide it by playing up saying, well, Middle Earth was in Europe and they didn't have black people in Europe. Stop. Right there. Stop. Hold it. Right there. You know what else they didn't have in Europe? They didn't have Real dwarfs. They didn't have real goblins. They didn't have real orcs. They didn't have real fairies. They didn't have real elves. You know what they had? They had a bunch of white people who had been on European land from for centuries that migrated from Africa, where black people are. And during those centuries, because of the environment they lived in, with the amount of sun and the winters that they had in that area, lost the melatonin in their skin and in their eyes giving them lighter skin and lighter eyes. So who's to say that in the beginning of time and for a long while while people were migrating from Africa to Europe that they didn't have black people. You have more of an imagination for fairy tales than you have for reality, for humanity. And who's to say part of the reason why those migrating white African people who were probably black didn't join together with Neanderthals and crossbreed because in archaeological history it proves they did. And who's to say that when there was Neanderthals around the original people may have considered them dwarfs. Or maybe they ran into a short heavy set Asian person and considered them dwarfs and an elf was a tall black man who they hadn't seen for centuries. Who's to say? And who's to say the reason why those people ended up not staying in Europe is because those who became white became bigoted and chase them off, and chase some of their own people off that fell in love with them. And they went to places like America. Because America was never white either. People from Asia, and from Africa, and from Europe, and from Austria and from all over the world migrated from where they were for many different reasons and one of them could have been bigotry. They were not welcomed where they were at so they moved on. Or it might have been environmental. There wasn't enough food or there wasn't enough of what they needed to survive so they moved on. 
the population was getting to a point that it could not su sustain the people on the land, so they moved on to find a better place and a better way of life. And then once they found America, the Asians interbreeded with the blacks and the Europeans and whatever else not, and you ended up with the Native Americans. A whole group of people who originally discovered America. And the Neanderthals, all of these groups of people who originally discovered America. Not you white people. So don't be saying America deserves success to be owed to white people. That white people discovered it. People of all races discovered this land and inhabited it. And sure, they at times had their tribal clashes. But for the most part, they had rules and regulations and laws to their society. You did not take a slave unless you were taking that slave to replace a mother, a father, or a child who was killed during an attack on your tribe. And then they only stayed a slave for as long as it took for them to accept they were a member of that tribe and follow that tribe's rules. The white man came along and taught them how to profit off of slavery. So if you ask me, the true savages weren't the Native Americans. They were the white man. White man taught them how to keep slaves forever. And not make them productive parts of the community. Free productive parts of the community. So if you ask me, true savages? Wait, man. In TV for so long, they depicted black people as gangsters. And Latinos as part of a cartel. And Asians as laundromat people. And Native Americans as a bunch of savages. It's time they get positive reinforcement and representation in TV. And if you cannot accept that, then don't watch the shows that promote it. Shut your little bigoted mouth and move on. Because you don't matter. Your problem is not whether a black person is depicted as a dwarf. Your problem is, is that you think only a white person should have that role. When in truth, your bigoted actions show me that your whiteness shows you should be depicted as an orc or a goblin, not as an elf or a dwarf or even a human. The only people that should be depicted as human in any show, are those that are depicted as white, black, or whatever color out there that can accept others for who they are and are not a bunch of bigots and racists. The bigots and ra racists should be depicted as the orcs and the goblins and all those nasty little beings out there. Because you do not deserve the privilege of being an elf. Now once you can accept that there was no elf in Middle Earth, 
There was no dwarfs in the Middle Earth. There was no dragons or unicorns or orcs or goblins or, or gnomes in Middle Earth. Then you can accept that the dwarf might have been black. That an elf might have been black. And that a goblin might have been white. Or they may have been Asians or Muslims. I think every race, whether they be Asian, Black, Native American, Latino, or Middle Eastern should be depicted as heroes, as elves, as dwarfs. They have just as much right to be represented in every show in a positive way as you bigoted white people. So get over it. Go find yourself a different show to watch. Because apparently any show that shows a positive light on any other race other than white is not your cup of tea. And don't be coming up with this idea that I'm not bigoted and I'm not a racist. But you know, Europe was full of white people. No. Europe became full of white people from generation after generation after generation of what of black people living on that land and evolving to survive in that environment which did not need as much pigment to their skin to protect them from the sun that did not need as much pigment in their eyes to protect them from the sun. They needed less of the dark pigment so that the sun didn't bake, so that the cold didn't hit them more. So get it real. And to be perfectly honest, being white is not the superior race. Because white people are more susceptible to getting skin cancer. Because places like Europe don't get as much sun as places like Africa. Oh, what an amazing thought. Places like America get less sun than Africa, but more sun than Europe. So maybe in places like America, they developed brown skin because they needed some protection from the sunlight, but they didn't need as much protection as African people did. So they created more of a lighter skin. But wait, you wouldn't think of that. Because you white bigots don't have that much of an imagination. Too shallow-minded, narrow-minded, and small-minded to think of what you Evolution is. If you are even Christian and you believe all mankind originated from one place, then you believe all mankind looked the same.
Because back in the beginning of time, back in biblical time, people wasn't traveling much further than the Middle East, maybe Europe, maybe Africa. But they weren't doing it on a regular basis. You may have gotten a speckle of them here and a speckle of them there. Therefore, a black man moving to Europe may have seemed strange. And because the newly evolved white people seen it as strange, instead of seeing them as human, much as bigots do today, they do not see black people as human, they call them elves. Oh, oh. wow. What a new concept. Maybe when people came wandering in from, oh, let's say, Asia, and they didn't normally see Asian people, and they were shorter than the black people, maybe they called them dwarfs. And maybe if the Middle Eastern people, because between elves and fairies, fairies are considered to be smaller than elves, maybe some of the shorter statured Middle Eastern people came into Asia, into Europe, and they didn't see them that often. So they called them fairies. Wow. What a concept, huh? Maybe that's where the true mythology of fairies and dwarfs and elves came from. Have you ever thought of that? No. You didn't. You know why? Because your bigoted, small mind couldn't think that far. You seem to think that even if mankind originated in the Guardian of Eden in one place on this earth, that somehow they didn't look like everybody else in the Garden of Eden. And somehow, they na magically got plopped into Europe. Even though all scientific and archaeological evidence to date proves that's not how it happened. But hey, you keep believing the bigoted bull crap you want to believe. And hey, you keep on making your bigoted little excuses about how Middle Earth was in Europe and they didn't have this kind of people to excuse the fact that you're a bigot and try and make yourself not look like a bigot. Because I'm sorry, you are. Every human being on this earth, no matter the color of the skin, the language they t speak, the color of their eyes, where they came from, deserves equal representation in their society. Whether it's representing them as a mythical being, as a dwarf or an elf, or whether it's representing them as a mythical hero like Batman, Robin, Superman or Superwoman or Batwoman every sex whether they're straight, gay transgender or no matter what sex they are deserves equal representation because they are a part of our society. 
and therefore deserves the equal representation. And gays and, and lesbians and transgenders didn't just magically come into existence in modern time. Because if they did, it wouldn't have been mentioned in a man-written book called the Bible. They have existed from the beginning of time, from the time God first created mankind. And he created them. Far too many of you are too bigoted on that, too. Too close-minded. Instead of thinking, God may have put them on this earth <coughs> to see if you could love them. As much as he loves you, you start thinking how they're an abomination. Because some man-written book tells you. You don't let God tell you by his creation. You let some biased man who wrote something in a book tell you what God should accept and what God shouldn't. Not what God created and what God didn't. And God didn't create you bigots. But he sure did create the black. The Latino, the Native American, the Asian, the Muslim, or should I say, Middle Eastern. The Latino, the gay, the straight, the transgender. He created all of that. Not man, and not some words in some book. Some man with his own personal Biases wrote. If a book cannot follow what God created, then that book must be wrong. If that man written book does not follow God handmade creation, then the book is wrong and is created with the creator's own biases. And any book can be a guideline for how humanity should treat each other. Just the same as how Jesus treated others. But a book should not be the end all and be all of the laws of a land. God's creation should be God's word. And God created diversity. So, Middle Earth could have had black elves just as easily as it could have had white ones. So stop your bigotry. Because it's ugly.